So we're back this time with two pretty big figures that I have to unbox. Um, by the title, you already know what they are. This is the POP, which is the Portrait of Pirates. This is the Doflamingo and Gear 4 Boundman Luffy. Now, I don't want to say that they're older figures because they're not. They just didn't come out in the last pre-order cycle and they've been out for quite some time. I believe the Gear 4 had a remake, like a version 2.0 but Doffy has pretty much stayed the same. But we're gonna start off with the Luffy. Now I haven't collected any portrait of pirates. I'm more of a resin collector. However, uh, there's something coming up in the next video later this week that I'll show what we can do to these figures to really elevate them. Um, but for now, we're gonna start with the portrait of pirates base, which is interesting. I've never had a base this big or a, a big effect piece that big with a huge key notch. You know, so I'm guessing he has a huge hole uh, in his back. But going over his basic paint and sculpt, honestly, PVC usually leaves me with a lot to be desired in the overall paint, but there's like a weird sparkle pearlescent to his arms and to his legs like that. It just, I don't know. It's, it's new types of paint I haven't seen. Maybe more people familiar with the Portrait of Pirates line is, is, used to this type of paint and sculpt, but like this is really, really high quality stuff. And I love all the effects spiraling out. I love that he's all one piece. I love the hand. The facial head sculpt is so well done. The painting is on point. The shading with the airbrush between the muscles with that like light pink is really good. Overall, solid gradient tones. I love the, just the action in this pose, you know, the hat attached to him looks good as well. You can see all the texturing. The overall sculpt of the smoke is really impressive as well. Nice flexible pieces so they don't snap on you. I love the, the gold paint on his shirt, the nice reflective parts. And you can see this huge key notch in the back. I'm not used to notches this big on PVC, but it holds him up pretty securely and I like that he's like lifted off the ground. It's, it's a really nice pose. Mine took a little resistance um, getting in, as you can kind of see it flicks back and forth, but overall it went in, feels pretty secure. He's definitely not going anywhere and he's definitely not toppling over. So it's a really good, well-balanced base and well-balanced figure overall. I would say this figure is definitely worth its price, especially just based on this configuration alone. If you're looking for a gear four Luffy, you really can't go wrong with this scale and with this paint and sculpt. So. If you're on the fence with it, I would say definitely go for it. And there's a few things we can do uh, to really elevate this. But for right now, let's go ahead and get Doffy out. So here we have Doflamingo's blister pack. He is a lot bigger overall than the year four was. I'm not too sure if it's the pose that he's in or if it's his giant coat with all the spikes on it that he usually has. But getting him in frame is really, really hard to the point that I can't. So this is really the best I have for unboxing his blister, but I'm just gonna go ahead and skip it till we have him unboxed right here and removing this packaging. Now we get a full view of what he looks like. So we can see his menacing facial expression as we remove some of this extra packing material. You can see his great sculpt on his hands. They're very defined. He has insane muscular abs and pecs. Now removing him from his blister and moving this off of the table so we can see what he looks like. We're gonna start with his overall coat. Now it is insanely spiky, but it has a fantastic paint application. Beautiful gradients all around. I love the shade from pink to blue. to like that darker pink purple. He does wobble a little bit as you saw me kind of wiggle him back and forth. He does have a support rod. Uh, I really wish he didn't. But, you know, what can you do with some heavy PVC? They just require it. Holding him up to the camera now, you can see that full view of his menacing pose. This, hands down, has to be my favorite Doflamingo ever created. Just the way his pose is with his coat, how it's flowing backwards, the spikes are going crazy. He's leaning forward, standing on some rocks. I love the hand pose, the tongue out the glasses, the hair looks good. You know, all of the shading on the skin tones is impeccable. This truly is probably my favorite PVC line for one piece that's ever come out. Um, just, it's really hard to beat. Like the, 
the pink pants with the silver brushing on it that give it that metallic look. You know, the dry brushing on the rocks with that nice warm brown to gray gradient. The nice solid PVC overall base. I like how they enclosed the bottom and feels like they gave it some weight in there. It doesn't feel completely hollow, but overall, he's just a fantastic figure. Just the aura he has and just the menacing presence. Just this by itself is fantastic. Like it's a great one piece figure. It's really hard to beat, especially just at the price point that he comes in with his sheer size and footprint. And honestly, I don't know how long it's gonna be until we get a better Doffy, if that's even possible at this point in the PVC scale, like until you kind of transfer over to like a big diorama scene, this is pretty much as good as it gets. And just encapsulating who he is as a character, it's kind of hard to beat it. And here we see this is the support rod that he does come with, sadly, but it is required most likely to keep him upright. Now you do get a little instruction sheet on where this goes, but I won't be using this personally because coming next video, there's a reason why I won't be using this. But until then, hope you all enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.